The movie Stand and Deliver ends on a high note, with Escalante's students proving the skeptics wrong. But the story of his mathematics program at Garfield does not have a Hollywood ending. When the film was released in 1988, Garfield's math program was bigger and more successful than ever. Before I came to Garfield, I had never heard of Mr. Jaime Escalante. But sure enough, as soon as you step foot on campus, you hear about Mr. Jaime Escalante and you hear about the math program. Every single week, uh, there was a new uh, film crew coming in. In any other field, we might expect this combination of success, scalability, and publicity to have catapulted Escalante to the top of his profession. Or like Hubble's expanding universe to have spread all across the country. That just isn't what happened. My years were the years of controversy, where a lot of the teachers were resentful and it was very public. Jaime it was a type of person that wouldn't settle for normal goals. He, he had big dreams and he wasn't afraid to reach for them. You know, uh, Jaime was relentless and uh, he wanted, you know, the best for the students. The key uh, problem was that Escalante's classes were big. The number of students in the class um, work for him. He could handle it. He was setting a precedent. He was giving the message to the administrator, you know, if Escalante can do it, why not you? The union uh, helped Mr. Jimenez, who was the other calculus teacher, uh, or help him to believe that he could run as a chairperson and be the chairperson, which he did. And that was done, you know, in the background. They, were, they, they hide it from Escalante. The union was able to get the votes to oust Escalante as chairman of the math department because his success and fame had started to arouse jealousy.